Hey, hello again, Vinyl Community, Matt here. So today I received in the mail a package. Yeah, some VCLT. Now this has come from uh, Rob Walker, who, uh, uh, he's pretty new to the vinyl community. His channel name is Rob Walker, Let the Music Player. I mentioned him a couple of videos ago because he had recommended a, um, uh, a band called The Bible. And I had bought a uh, a 45, a 7 inch single based on his recommendation. And uh, I've got some more records that I'll be showing in a future video <laughs> based on based on a recommendation from him as well. But um, anyway, he had mentioned that he uh, he had a few records he would like to send me. So um, so yeah, this is it. This arrived today. Very exciting. Thank you, Rob. Um, I haven't opened it. It's still the package is still uh, completely sealed up. So. So let's take a look. Now, Rob's a really nice guy. I really enjoy watching his videos. Um, he uh, He's very much into, uh, likes a lot of 90s stuff and 80s stuff. Um, and what I like about his channel is that I learned something as well. So the Bible being uh, a good example, but he shows uh, a lot of bands that um, I'm either not familiar with or perhaps only very vaguely familiar with. So it's nice, you know, it's what it's all about, and learning about new music and, uh, you know, making new friends through the vinyl community. So, yeah, Rob lives in Manchester, in England, and uh, as a Manchester United fan, I'm, you know, familiar. I've been to Manchester a couple of times. I know it's a cliche about Manchester United fans, I know. I know. But I've been a fan of theirs since uh, 1990. So, and they hadn't won anything for five years when I became a fan, and I was only only an eleven year old, so cut me some slack. <laughs> All right, so let's have a look here. Here's this. It's really well packaged up. I'm still I'm still working on it. We've got a package inside the package here. And as I mentioned, there there is another band that Rob has recently introduced me to, and I will be I'll be showing those in an upcoming video. I'll be showing the albums that I got in an upcoming video. All right, we're just about here. All right, we're in, we're in. <laughs> Let's have a look. Ooh. Yeah, number one, uh, number ones of dance. Oh yeah, this is awesome. Look at this. Now, um, I'm a big fan of '90s dance music, dance music in general, but particularly '90s dance music. And uh, compilations on vinyl are pretty hard to come by, especially in the U.S., where uh, I don't think it was quite as big in the U.S. that genre. But also because, you know, by, by the time the 90s rolled around, vinyl was really dying a, a, a slow and painful death by that point. So, yeah, let's take a look. Here's, uh, here's the back of it. Let's look at the track listing. Um, the Power by Snap. That's a classic. Come on. Oh, uh, Boom, Shake the Room, Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. I'm really pleased that that's on here because I, uh, I do not have that on any album on vinyl. Um, so, uh, and it's, I've, lo I, I've actually even bid before on like the 12 inch single and it always goes for quite a bit of money. So, um, really pleased that that's on here. Uh, we have Black Box Right on Time, Stone Cold Classic. Uh, the Shaman, Ebenezer Good, that was a big number one hit in 92. Um, KLF, 3AM Eternal, it was another number one hit. S Express, the theme from S Express. Uh, Two Unlimited, No Limit. Adamski Killer. Yaz, The Only Way Is Up, and Erasure with the cover version of Take a Chance on Me. Uh, we also have Mars, Pump Up the Volume. And what's nice is that, that that'll be the UK version, not the uh, not the watered down US version. Mel and Kim, Respectable. That's unexpected, but but definitely not unwelcome. It's a great stock aching Waterman track. Oh, Vanilla Ice, Ice Ice Baby, yeah. <laughs> uh, Beats International, Don't Be Good to Me. Snap Rhythm as a Dancer. There's a bunch of number ones on here. Uh, Color Me Bad, I Want to Sex You Up, Ace of Bass, All That She Wants, uh, Gabrielle Dreams, KWS Please Don't Go, and uh, oh, The Communards, Don't Leave Me This Way, 
Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. And I think this is on, did it say it's on Telstar, I think? Yeah, it's on the Telstar label. The Telstar were um, well known for their compilations in the 80s and 90s in the UK. Um, I have a few of the uh, DP compilations, that, that, which is house music, and those are those are all on Telstar. So uh, wonderful, yeah. Thank you, Rob. That that's uh, and it's kind of ironic because I, I watched one of Rob's videos today where he showed a dance compilation, a different one, and I and I commented um, how great those were, you know, to have on vinyl, and uh, just uh, just sort of ironic that uh, yeah, here 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 we have one. Now there's something else in here too. What's this? Ah, hey, look, it's the Bible and Eureka. Hey, awesome. Um, so I that it's funny. I I just mentioned the Bible, um, and uh, this uh, so this is an album of theirs. Now I'm gonna. I'm not. I'm actually not too familiar with them. I, as I mentioned, I, I hadn't heard of the Bible before Rob's video a couple of weeks ago. And um, so I don't know the songs, but this this I will be very excited to give this a listen because um, I I did like the album that he recommended. It wasn't this album; it was a different one. The album that he recommended, I really enjoyed. I, I listened to it online, and so much so that I, I as I mentioned, I went and bought one of the uh, seven inch singles. So the track listing for this is uh, Sky Riding, Honey Be Good, Skeleton Crew, November Brides, Cigarette Girls, Crystal Palace. Um, the Wishing Game, Red Hollywood, Tiny Lights, and Blue Shoes Stepping. Really cool. Released in 1988. What label is this on? This is on. Um, this is on. Oh, uh, it looks like Ensign, uh, which is um, perhaps a, a subsidiary of Chrysalis Records by the looks of it. Yeah. Awesome. It's in really nice condition too. Um, yeah, thank you, Rob. Uh, really, really, uh, really excited to give that a, a listen because um, I did enjoy that other album a lot um, that that I listened to online. I probably would have bought the whole album. It just was a little bit, um, a little bit more than I wanted to pay. But the forty-five was perfect. Oh, hang on. There's more in here. There's more in here. Hang on a second. I th I thought that was it. Hang on, I can see some other things in here. Oh my goodness! Let's uh, let's have a. Oh, there's a note as well. Oh my goodness! Well, hang on. Let's have a look at the note. Um. So uh, and I hope uh, I'm sure Rob won't mind me reading this out. So he said, um, I hope you enjoy these records. I really hope that you don't own any of them. I thought I'd send you a copy of Smash Hits. Oh, well, we're going to get to that. I think that's in here. Um, I'm pretty sure you must have read it when you were growing up. I know you're a lover of 45, so I thought I'd send you a few picture discs, which I hope you enjoy. Oh, we didn't get to those yet. Yeah, we'll have a look at that in just a second. Um, I'm sending this uh, VCLT to you as a big thank you to you for entertaining me these last few months. You come across as a lovely guy, and one of the things about the vinyl community is that it connects people from all over the world. Best wishes to you and your family, Rob. That's very oh, that's really nice. Thank you, Rob. I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, it's uh, a nice sentiment, and um, um, I think that's true. You know, you 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 meet, you meet a lot of people through the VC. A lot of really nice people make a lot of connections, and of course, we all share this kind of common bond, a common love for music, and vinyl in particular, so, um, yeah, I really appreciate the, the, the letter there, uh, Rob. So let, let's have a look, we've got a couple other things in here, so, oh, that's cool. This is a picture disc of The Fear by Lily Allen. Um, I, I do not have this, uh, I don't have any Lily Allen on vinyl, and if I remember, is this the song where she's, uh, where she's talking about um, like sleeping with a guy, is that it? Is that the one or the? It was a Lily Allen song. Oh no, no, that was um, not fair or something. Um, okay, but I think that is Lily Allen still. But I know the name, the fear. I can't immediately think how the song goes. But uh, let, let's take let's take the record out the sleeve. Um, that's cool. 
there's the back of it yeah Lily Allen is uh, pretty popular in the UK she's had quite a few hits so yeah awesome thank you Rob there's another picture disc here what's this Ooh, the killers yeah and I'll take this out as well human let me show you the other side oh, that's really neat look at that yeah awesome um i'm trying to think if i know the song because um so i i, I know the album hot fuss and i think i have it on cd somewhere and i've even bid on it repeatedly on ebay to get it on vinyl and i've been outbid every time i don't th i think this is from a different album so i'm not sure if i know the song uh human or not um this appears to be a limited edition it has a number on it 4304 i don't know how many um how many of these were pressed but uh but yeah that's really neat i do like the killers uh, like i said i have hot fuss and um that's a great album so i'm really excited to listen to this i don't know if i know the song human so uh it might be one of those where i put it on and immediately i'm thinking oh right right i know the song but but it might also be one that i don't know so that's 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 exciting um yeah thank you rob um oh We've got another picture disc. Ah, look at this. It's Wham. Yeah, and uh, Bad Boys. Uh, I do like Wham, actually. Um, I have... Um, I don't think I have any 45 of those. Let me think. Do I have Careless Whisper? I did have Careless Whisper. I don't know if I still have it. I, I, I don't remember. But... Um, but certainly I don't have uh, uh, a picture disc of Bad Boys, and I don't have Bad Boys uh, on uh, 45 at all. So, yeah, that's awesome. And the B-side has the instrumental as well. And, yeah, I mean, wham! You know, if you grew up in the 80s, you either listened to wham, or you lied and told people you didn't. But everyone listened to wham. Everyone liked one or two wham songs. Um, and... Uh, yeah, the the I think I have three other albums on vinyl, but but no forty five. So yeah, that's awesome. Uh, thank you, thank you, Rob. Um, now, last but not least, <laughs> look at this. Smash hits. Now, this is from nineteen eighty three. Wow, I don't even remember the, this logo. Um, Smash hits is well was. I'm almost certain it's not around anymore, but. Smash Hits was a, um, mag a magazine, as you can tell, that was around for quite a, a number of years in the UK. And it, it was uh, a music magazine, essentially. Um, articles, people wrote in it, you know, there were features on the, the, the different artists at the time, the, the different songs. Uh, usually the artists that were uh, big at the time, you know, artists that uh, had songs in the charts. And I... I do remember Smash Hits, and I used to I used to buy it when I was a kid. Now, 1983 is a little bit before my time. Um, not literally. I mean, I was I was four years. So th this magazine is from April 14th. Um, so I had just turned four four years old when this magazine came out. So uh, I I was I liked music at a very young age, um, but I, 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 I was a little bit old when I started buying Smash Hits, so I don't remember this logo. The logo changed at some point, um, you know, probably a couple of years after this, in the mid to late 80s. And um, this is great. I'm going to be very interested to take a look at this. So on the front, it, it, it says, I guess it's featuring the Bell Stars, that name rings a bell. No pun intended. Uh, Big Country, Joe Boxers, Robert Palmer, Twisted Sister, and the Thompson Twins, who are, who are on the front right here. Um, and on the bottom, it says, Hit Songs by Spandau Ballet, Toto, Bauhaus, OMD, and many more. What's on the back? Joe Boxers, there we go. Cool. Let's have a look inside. This is great. I mean, I, I, I love nostalgic things like this because you know it takes you back to your childhood I, I, even even though you know let me just adjust myself here even though this exact issue is 
uh, before I would have been buying magazines. Still, I, I love sort of retro vintage stuff like this. I have a, I went through a phase a few years ago where I was obsessed with accumulating board games that I'd owned as a child. I got, I ended up buying it, but I ended up spending quite a bit of money on them on eBay. Um, and <laughs> I've never played them. Um, but in a way, isn't, isn't that kind of what this is about? This whole vinyl thing a little bit. It is for me recreating your childhood. Um, trying to hold on to a piece of it, you know, and, and that's why so many of us, I think, buy uh, at least a few records from our youth. Even if they're not objectively very good records, we still buy them because they remind us of something and they take us to another place. And that's the same thing, you know. I'm a, I'm a pretty, um, I'm a pretty tactile person. Um, so by that I mean, you know, I'm, I like to be hands-on with things. So vinyl is a perfect vehicle for me because it allows me to actually physically touch the music before I play it. And it's the same thing with objects like this. You know, I, I like to be able to look through things and, and uh, actually have a hands-on experience. So, so uh, this has got a list of songs that are featured in here. Um, and there's, some, there's a bunch of articles as well. Um, let's have a look here. Oh, there's, uh, there's Grace Jones. <laughs> there she is. Um, who else is in here? Uh, who else do I recognize? Uh, oh, yeah, there's Chubby Checker. What's he doing in there? I guess it must have been like a little throwback. Oh, look, Lamal, Kashigugu. They got a little, uh, 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 they call it a personal file where they list like his, uh, his full name, his date of birth, and I guess they must have asked him questions like first memory. And his first memory apparently was Bonfire Night when he was about seven years old. Uh, Bonfire Night, for those of you who don't know, is celebrated November 5th in the UK. Um, it commemorates uh, the gunpowder plot of, I don't know what year, that was 16 something, 15 something? It was either the 16th or 17th century. Um, the gunpowder plot where um, a group of, I don't know, I think it was between 15 and 20 men, um, conspired to blow up the Houses of Parliament and they, uh, they tunneled under it and had all of, this ex all of these explosives in place and were just waiting to set the plan in motion, you know, when Parliament was in session. Anyway, guy, uh, this, this guy named Guy Fawkes was one of the men that was caught and he was uh, tortured and this <laughs> infamous um, uh, before and after comparison of his signatures <laughs> before torture and after torture let's just say they're kind of unrecognizable anyway I digress let's see what else we've got in here um, Toto, Rosanna and it's got the lyrics so this is see this would have been you know this is bef I mean more than a decade, really, before the internet was mainstream, and and before we had almost uh, unlimited access to information, you know, if you wanted to know the lyrics, you'd have to get it from something like this. If you couldn't figure them out, uh, the Farmers Boys muck it out. I don't know that song. Uh, what else do we have here? Um, there's an there's a, an ad here for Robert Palmer's um, Pride album. Available on album on album or cassette. Now this appears to be all black and white. Oh no, no wait, no, it's not. There is color in here. There is color. There we go. I was about to say that the later issues were were in full color. Um, and here's the whole article about the uh, Thompson twins with Tom Bailey and Elena Curry and John uh, John Joe Leeway. So that's really cool. Yeah. Now I'm intrigued. I want to like go through the whole thing, but I know we don't have time for that. But uh, Twisted Sister, there's Grace Jones again. Um, oh, look at that. Memorex tapes. Buy two, get one free. That would be a pretty sweet deal now, wouldn't it? <laughs> Especially the Type Two ones. Spandau Ballet. True. That's funny. I just. Uh, uh, my Instagram post from this morning, I showed the true album by Spandau Ballet, which uh, one of my favorite 80s albums. It's a great album. So, uh, 
Yeah, you can tell I'm kind of into this. This is great. This really is. Um, oh, somebody did the crossword. Well, shoot. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so really, uh, uh, I don't know what to say, Rob. Really, thank you so much. Um, you didn't have to send me anything at all, and uh, certainly um, didn't expect all this, and definitely didn't expect to get a, a vintage copy of Smash Hits as well. Just, uh, yeah, what a what a treat. Yeah, really. I'm gonna I'm gonna put on some music right now and have a look at this. This uh, I want to be transported back to April 1983. That's what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll put Spandau Ballet on. If there's an idea. There's an idea. Or maybe no. You know what? No, 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 no. We gotta put one of these on. I gotta put one of these on. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Well, thank you guys for putting up with my nonsensical rambling, and thank you especially to Rob. Um, please do go check out Rob's channel. Um, I will put a link in the description below. Um, and I, I really think he is someone who deserves more subscribers. And I, and I know we all start out slow. I did. I get it. You know, the first few months in particular, it's always um, it's always difficult to get the word out. And and now there are more VC channels than ever. So you know, it's it's even it's even more difficult to um, sort of not not get lost in the crowd. But please please do go check out his channel because super nice guy um, has a lot of uh, knowledge. I love uh, all the '80s and '90s stuff uh, that he shows, and uh, clearly clearly a very generous and kind guy as well. So uh, please do go take a look at his channel. Thank you guys as always for watching. If you'd like to hit, hit the subscribe button. Please do so and hit the bell icon and you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. And thank you as always for watching and until next time, bye bye.